NPC National Champion and IFBB Night of Champions winner Kevin Leveroni is into Leveroni? training. Leveroni? Did I hear him say Kevin? Leveroni, yeah. Let me roll that back. I gotta hear that again. And he hasn't even gone to the Olympia yet because he just said he won the Night of Champions. Yeah. Hold on, let's hear that. Leveroni. Winner Kevin Leveroni is into power Leveroni. training. Hey everybody, it's just Bodybuilding Reacts. And uh, by popular demand, we're doing an American Muscle Magazine episode. <laughs> These aired in, I guess it would be the early 90s. Of course, yeah. we got Skip Hill <laughs> filling in for Dusty today. And Scott, the producer, McNally. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and... Skip? There you go, Skip. It's your spot. That's your spot, Skip. Uh, ring, but I'm too busy looking and not paying. See, I'm new. Oh, I'm he's new. looking ring at the bell. boobs. <laughs> ring the bell. Ring the bell. There, there we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got going here. Flex Wheeler. This is totally off a of terrible VHS, first of all. Features another excerpt from Flex Wheeler's new hard bodies training video in action with his homies as they shatter His shape. homies. <laughs> his homies. Oh, wow. We got a classic so here. So funny. Oh, no mic? It's no problem. No mic on? Yeah. So... Just to remind everyone. Membership does have its uh, Oh, those right? clothes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were dying for footage of people training. Huh? I think Jay Little's going to be pissed off. He's going to be jealous. Why? Does he have one? No, no, but he's got like all kinds of cars. Those Zubaz or Platinum wear? Yeah, Zubaz or Platinum, one of the two. <laughs> the gym looked way different back then. Oh, see, that's how I remember the front desk. I, I remember yeah. when the front desk was on that side, yeah. Okay. Back in the day. Who's that with him there? That's yeah, Rico McClinton. That was like the infamous training partner. Okay. No. Take a little pre-workout insulin, maybe. Get things <laughs> <don't> in. <laughs> he could just be taking a dump, let's be yeah. fair. <laughs> it's probably that. <laughs> I was always all, we had, all we had was the magazines. And, you know, I mean, Dorian's video didn't come out until 97. So, I mean, this would have been like 93 or something. 92, 93. I don't know what year this was. 94, maybe. Yeah, early 90s, yeah. And this is on ESPN, too. Yeah, this is just on TV. So, like, when this show came on, we would always tape it, or you'd, like, you know, you'd go to your friend's house that had cable or whatever, like... Yeah. Back when the video recorders or the video players cost, like, 1800 bucks. Right, right. <laughs> you know, they used to have the shows on ESPN, too. Yeah, yeah they like did. The, we'd have the wrap-ups of, like, the Nationals and the NPC USAs. That'd be so cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, I remember watching the shows on TV in, like, 86, 87. He had such a freaky physique. I think he was the biggest guy I could think of at that time for his weight. Because I still yeah. struggle with his weight being as light as it was. Oh, look at Charles. Charles looking young. Yeah, without the dreadlocks. <laughs> yep. There's a really short range of motion there. But he's stacking it. You know, yeah. people think Flex trained trained light, but that wasn't like that wasn't always the case. Flex was pretty strong. He did some stuff. He looks insane. I always thought he had one of the like when I think when, when we say like, oh man, the nineties bodybuilders were just different, I think of him. Like I think of guys like him and Lavroni. I think about the way these guys looked is just it was a different world. There he just told you what brand his pants were, but we missed it. Oh <laughs> he Did held he? up the label. Oh. Yeah, he held up the label. He was holding it up. Didn't uh I think it was Mike Christian who had platinum wear, right? Yeah, Mike had platinum, yeah. yeah. And then Gary Stridham had crazy wear. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yep. Remember me telling you about Velco who owns the restaurant? Ron? Yep. Yep. His wife was Gary Stridum's secretary at Gold back in those days. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they've got some good stories about him. That's funny. Is the firehouse still? 
Yeah. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's still there. Because I remember when it opened. This is how long I've been around when it opened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When they turned it into a restaurant. Yeah. And it was strictly, from what I understood, I mean, almost strictly bodybuilding fair. Yeah. And yeah. I, I mean, thinking, right. I mean, egg white omelets and, and that sort of thing. They you have that whole menu. Yeah. 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 You get a Bob Bowl. I remember he, I was young and I remember thinking, you know, just, I don't know what a bad idea that was from a business standpoint, but apparently, <laughs> oh, no. but apparently they've done. Okay. You have to remember for the guys who aren't old, old enough, we didn't have all the extra flavors. I mean, I remember when butter buds came out. Yeah. Butter. Yeah, Bud, yeah. Okay. And we were all excited. Like, Oh, we can make it. And it's no calories. When the first ingredient was like maltodextrin. <laughs> <laughs> We have fake butter, but we have a really high GI carb that in another 12 years we're going to use as a post-workout carb. This is a yeah, great Yeah, idea. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even diet soda back then. I mean, I'm not well, kidding. Tab tab was tab. Diet right, maybe. I, I, I remember telling, like, I remember how much Diet Coke I drank when I would prep. Like, yeah. We used to drink way more Diet Pop than people do now. I hear people now, they're like, I have a Diet Coke every day or so. I'm like, I used to drink 10 a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy. Like, we, I drank a Diet Coke with every meal. Didn't give a, didn't care at all. Just drank it, loved it. I'd have Diet 7 Up, Diet Coke, Diet Orange Crush. I'd have three or four different diet sodas in my fridge at all time. Plex is doing whatever I wanted. He's doing upright rows here. I have to ask you guys, do people still do upright rows? Because I feel like that's not an exercise you see that much. I hardly yeah. ever did them. They always yeah. hurt my shoulders. Did they? Yeah. It's an awkward position. I've done them with dumbbells uh, in a couple of my videos for the TRT and for the longevity video. I think it's great. There was a small couple of years, maybe a few years, where people were doing them a little bit with dumbbells. At yeah. least with dumbbells, you have a little bit more, um, you can play with the movement a little bit more. I'd yeah. alternate. I wouldn't do them both at the same time because I think it's a, it's an awkward. There are, what, three or four, five exercises that used to be considered staples. And over time, they just, they've been left along the wayside. And I think that's yeah. probably a, a, good, a good idea. What a crazy physique on him. He really was. Look at those arms from behind even, you know? Yeah. And, you know, we, we're all looking at it through the lens of what we, of what we, you know, just think of what he wasn't doing. Yeah. What do you guys think about the training intensity back then versus now or versus even prior to that? Era going well, back into the 80s. these videos might not show the intent. I mean, he's yeah. kind of a laugh. He's kind of a laugh, laugh and have a good time guy. But they're still doing hard sets. Like he was doing, you know, a whole stack on that big shoulder press and yeah. getting some loading in. But sometimes workout intensity presents itself differently on video than it is, yeah. you know, sure the actual intensity and the muscle during the sets that count. So I try not to give people too much grief over how their video might I just appear. wonder what what would that have looked like though if he like was he known for training hard no no that was one of the things is he got he got crap for kind of you know yeah that that's was what I one thought too. He got a little crap from right but he always yeah. had Charles Glass pushing him like Charles Glass was in the gym with him a lot so I mean it's not like Charles is gonna let you dog it like right you know I mean there's videos with Flex Wheeler doing like 405 inclines for reps and stuff I mean how many Guys get under 405 back in the 90s. Yeah. True. Yeah. I've got another one for us here. Check this out. I think I just caught it at the beginning here. Let me turn oh, this yes. up. Yeah. Another, this is another one. This is a great one. I think the sound gets cut out here right at the beginning, but then I saw it picks back up. So we'll have to deal without the, the cool sound. That hat, is that like, that's like a, a biking hat, isn't it? The body glove. The body are, glove style. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are great. Yeah, I remember. I've... I've seen i saw this at the time i didn't see the flex wheeler one or i don't remember it yeah <laughs> that doesn't mean i didn't see it. this one i absolutely oh man that takes me back oh goodness He's got the max muscle shirt on yeah yeah that hat's hilarious that body glove hat nbc national champion and ifbb night of champions winner kevin leveroni is in leveroni did i hear him say leveroni, kevin leveroni, yeah let me roll leveroni, that back leveroni. i gotta hear that again and he hasn't even gone to the Olympia yet because he just said he won the Night of Champions. Yeah. Hold on, let's hear that. 
Leveroni. Kevin Leveroni is into power Leveroni. Tricks, the kind of power <laughs> that packs on size, which frightens the average human. Number one rule in Kevin power training is to always use heavy weights. Focus on the basic exercises like bench presses, rows, and leg presses. All right. These are compound movements that allow you to really pile on the weights and work several groups of muscles at once. Keep in mind that in power movements, form is always important, so don't cheat. Mental attitude is critical as well. Is that a body glove? That is a body glove hat. Yeah. That's, yeah. Which was, that's, Wasn't yeah. body glove like a surfing brand that tried yeah. to get cool at one point? Yeah, oh, so. it was cool though for a few yeah, yeah. years in there because yeah, that's yeah. right around the Oakley. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And those are coming back. They're difficult to find. Um, well, I looked for them a few years ago, but uh, they. I heard that they were going to come back with a more of a vintage look from the from the late eighties. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. So basically, these how everything was presented. Yeah. It was like this. These episodes were basically like just a training montage, is what I'm yeah. I'm getting at. I forgot what these were like. Kevin's second suggestion is the use. I of forgot what gyms look like with no hammer strength in them. <laughs> Plus, you know this is a photo shoot because he just leg pressed and now he's T-bar rowing. Yeah, <laughs> and that so might like, be the lowest T-bar. You, if you saw somebody in the gym doing a T-bar row that low these days. You probably subconsciously would be like, I need to correct him. That's just not good on that lower back. You don't see <laughs> right. that. That's an Arnold row right there. Doing one rep of 900 pounds, okay. Otherwise, leave the wraps at home. There's a gem. <laughs> there you go. That's a stringer. Oh, yeah. Literally. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he didn't cut it though. He didn't cut it and twist it and then right, tie it right. in knots. I mean, yeah. there's no knots in it, so it's not yeah. quite modded to deal. spec. Yeah. Kevin's final power tip is to only wear. I know I get looks when I wear. I wear them. I had, I cut them and I twist them and I wear them and I. I think it's. I love it. So I know the young kids are like, oh, he's so old. Just do it. The amount of weight Kevin uses would bury the average person, but no matter what, put a certain amount of weight on the bar and then do it. He looks so, so young here. So he did a. He probably did a couple of sets with a full leg press, so they got a good video, and then he did a couple of sets with five plates on the T bar, so they got a good video. And yeah. now he's doing three fifteen, like nothing on the incline, just so they get a video. No spotter. See if you've got great potential. If you've yeah. got great potential, send your video or photo in. Right? <laughs> These are amazing, man. You know? This is good. That's good. There's a bunch of these. We could we could probably do these all day. So if people like these, there we could go back and we could find like literally hours of these shows that yeah. somebody somebody recorded them on their VHS and then they changed it to digital and uploaded it. You know, you know, just you think like decades ago, we would be super excited. Oh my, there's footage of Kevin leg pressing. Yeah, yeah. Like, where, well, rewind it, rewind it. Where are his feet? Yeah, like that's what we did. We're like, oh, well, look where his feet are. Look how his close feet his feet were really are. close oh, too. Did you notice that? Yeah. Okay. Now, how deep is he going? Can you rewind to that side shot? How much bend is in his knee? Like, yeah. and and I remember doing that with all those videos. Like, you know, and sometimes you wouldn't know when one was on. Like, I'd be at my buddy's house. He just flipped the TV on. He'd be like, oh, we got a football game, and we got an infomercial, and oh sh shit, it's Kevin LeBron on a leg press. Yeah, yeah. America <laughs> Muscles on. Like, you know that happened, right? So you'd stop and like gotta absorb everything yeah because you and don't know you if you're go, gonna be able to you didn't watch go through it again the TV guide and look for i know <laughs> i would scour it for anything bodybuilding because there was no going back and watching it right like right. it wasn't well, you, you either see it and watch it or you miss it that's all there is yeah to. yeah well, i grew up in the country so we only had two channels so i didn't <laughs> get like all the cables so i would only see american muscle if like my buddy taped it you know oh, what okay. i mean okay. nice. so my buddy'd be like hey i taped american muscle and then i'd like go over to his house and we'd watch it like so funny <laughs> you know it is great taped american muscle yeah like Fine. looking for this stuff i was i found like the lee haney workout show 
yeah. there's a bunch of episodes yeah. of those too you know some yeah. of them are yeah. really funny because it's like they're doing it for entertainment they've got like you know wrestlers mm-hmm. and stuff like that come on so it's it's, it's cool it's, it's definitely oh a cool right throwback, you know like i'm gonna train with lee haney today like that right. sort of thing yeah 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 that's funny now look man my liability in chance you know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you, you're saying. You got he's, insurance on this oh, guy, right? Oh, no worry. He's totally tame today. So I let him go. Well, remember, I got a wife and two kids. That's your problem. Yeah, what did they call that? Because it wasn't I, just Lee Haney's workout, what, right? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's... God, I'd forgotten about that. I wonder, wonder if those some are reason, out there somewhere. For some reason, I thought they used the totally awesome name. Remember how yeah, you might totally be, You awesome? might be right. From a branding like, standpoint, they should have. I bet they did. Lee's totally awesome workout hour yep. or something like that. I see that. Awesome. I like yep. the sound. Yeah. Of it. Total, it totally. Six, it's totally it, fit with ah, Lee totally Haney, fit. and they spell it total Lee L E E. Yeah. 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 Now, did they have a female one? Because I want to say Corey did some stuff too, but she may have just been on american muscle or they had a right. a few episodes that were female you know editions or something like that yeah yeah i'm not sure yeah those, if you, were, those were good times there might be some footage of chris aceto in there oh that would somewhere. be the bomb oh, if we could find that, that laura Cravel. he was married to laura Cravel back in the day yep. i mean yeah he's been around a long time he was prepping and prepping her in the 80s and he was a national level competitor at some point uh too back then so he walked the walk. That's the thing that I'd always said versus Hani. Uh, maybe people have found, I don't know, that Hani was a competitor. I know we were looking on the message boards and no one could find any history of Hani competing. Did, and this is did a you see, huh? Did you see this picture that Chris posted? Huh? 19, 1987. Him and oh. Gaspari at Gold's Gym. No kidding. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, like, yep, that's how far back Aceto goes. 1987 at Gold's Gym, watching yep. Gaspari pose in the mirror. That's wild. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I was a junior in high school, reading those magazines until they fell apart in class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I'd pick my teachers to pass me so that I could show up. I, and I understand how silly this is now as a 53-year-old man. I would never give this advice to my kids, but I would choose the, that's all, it's all I cared about in yeah. high school. I would pick my teachers who would pass me just for showing up and I would read muscle magazines. They thought, and I'm not trying to embellish, they were fall. the pages would fall out and I would just put them back in. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hunger for information. And now mm-hmm. we can watch a thousand people that we kind of know do the yep. same set of leg press that Kevin did. Yeah. And we just skip over it because no one really, eh, leg press, leg press, leg press. You yeah. know what I mean? This time's a change. Yeah, cool. Okay. Well, that's It's Just Bodybuilding, Sands Dusty, Sub Skip, <laughs> Reacts. That's the name of this one. Okay. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate having you uh, help out and give us your wisdom and your opinion on the uh, olden time video there, Skip. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and... Ring that bell. There you go. I like how he's got a different style than Dusty. He doesn't try to do the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Remember, IamMutant.com. Get your all-in, get your ISO surge. Everyone should get on the gear. Dusty 20, big round 20, 20% off. Don't forget to think big Patreon. Keep a producer homed. There you go. Okay, we're out. (laughs) 